Sir, our TIE interceptors have located a rebel fleet orbiting the planet Torkana. Excellent. Prepare the attack. Move our Star Destroyers within range and launch all TIE fighter squadrons. At once, sir. More than 10 years after the first Star Wars game got released, LucasArts finally developed their own game based on the license. X-Wing had to be the ultimate Star Wars fantasy and used the latest technology to deliver on that promise. This meant the game was only available on the PC platform. Your mission started on the Mon Calamari Star Cruiser Independence. We are under attack by Imperial Star Destroyers. Begin evasive maneuvers. Launch the X-Wing fighters. During a big attack on the Rebel fleet, Admiral Akbar commands the X-Wings to be launched and start a counterattack. The Space Combat Flight Simulator, released in 1993, puts you in the shoes of a Rebel pilot during various missions that go alongside the movies. Stay close and watch for enemy fighters. The destruction of the Death Star was once again a major part in the game, but X-Wing told a complete new story that put you in the center of the big conflict between the Rebels and the Empire. Follow me. I'm on it. Nice shot, Red 2. Since the game was in full 3D, X-Wing put the PC to work to display every graphic on the screen. It had realistic physics to make sure everything moved like it should in the real world. Every fighter was modeled in 3D and reacted in real time. This meant that the wreckage from an exploded TIE fighter could collide with other objects and do damage. The objectives you had to clear were pretty diverse. From patrols to raids to fetch quests, shoot anything in your way and rescue missions. While the story was new and your missions never seen before, the original Star Wars story played in the background, so players felt like they really had a part in the bigger picture. Stay on target. LucasArts used the iMuse technology to produce every sound effect in the game. This made sure the soundtrack was dynamic and could adapt itself to your actions. During three tours of duties, the game offered hours and hours of gameplay. Two expansion packs, Imperial Pursuit and B-Wing, were released shortly after. Each provided a tour of duty with an additional 20 missions, while B-Wing also gave access to his namesake, the B-Wing Starfighter, and another six historical missions for that ship. A year after its release, X-Wing was re-released as X-Wing Collector's CD-ROM, with the expansion packs included, bug fixes, easy versions of some missions, improved graphics, bonus missions, voiceover for mission briefings, and more. It received a major retouch for its release along with the collections X-Wing Collector Series in 1998 and X-Wing Trilogy a year later. To this day, X-Wing still has a major player base. 